Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Blind. In the last episode, we got a full heart's worth of heart pieces. We got four, I believe, in the last episode. In this episode, we're going to do some more side quests, as per usual. We'll be doing this the last few episodes, so let's make that a little bit of a trend for a while before we get started with a new area. Because I did miss a bunch of stuff, I realize, and I still am missing a bunch of stuff. But we're going to take that at least some of it in this little uh, bit of videos that we're doing here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead over here and get at least one rupee. Just at least one. I don't need a million and two, I just need one. Because off screen what I did um, grind for rupees. I um, I have 4,999 rupees. I need 5,000 for the final reward of this bank. So after this, I don't have to grind for rupees anymore, nor will I have to worry about money because all this money that's in the bank, I could just take it out of here and we'll be good with that. So, let's go ahead and deposit one freaking rupee, man. I do got some plans for this video, so don't worry, I have options. So, let's see, one rupee. Ooh, 5,000 rupees. Oh, it's just you already saved up the 5,000 rupees. Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits, sorry, but this is all I can give you. And with that, ooh, we got a piece of heart, awesome. So, that's our first new piece of heart in this, in this fourth bit of piece of heart. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so... Remember the few episodes ago when we did the, um, the Skulltula house in Southern Swamp? I got the Mask of Truth, which allows us to help talk to animals, aminals, you know? So we're gonna go take care of that in this episode. Oh, I didn't- What do you mean take care of that? I didn't even say what we're gonna do with it. We're going to do- Oh, wait, how many rupees do I want for this, actually? Let me go find out. Or I don't need to find out nothing. But we have plenty of rupees. You know what? I'll be ballsy. Let's, de let's withdraw 500 rupees. I'll be sure to deposit all of the ones I don't use when I'm done. Come on, camera. All right, we're going to go to the bomb shop, and we're going to go buy a big bomb keg thing. Since we are in a new cycle, we got to... Oh, yeah. Goron, man. And my rupees are still... The rupees are still going up. Okay, so it's 50 rupees for a powder keg. I'll take it. I don't think I need to cut anything out right now, but to the milk, to the milk road, because we're gonna do the doggy racetrack in this episode. Oh, it's about time I actually start saying what I was doing here. Yes, we are doing the doggy racetrack. Doesn't that sound like fun, guys? Since we can uh, know the thoughts of animals now, we can actually do this, which is really awesome. Hopefully, it won't take too long, because I do have other plans in this video as well. But if there is a montage. If there's going to be a montage, then, well, there's going to be a montage. And I still need magic. <laughs> I used so much of my magic in the last episode, actually, so... That's why I have no magic. We'll pretty much get some soon. Alright, this thing can blow up. I don't even know why I'm showing all this. We've already been here before. I could have just cut my way there, but, you know, that'd be kind of stupid. Hurry up! Thank you. Holy moly. So I, pre I I apologize for cutting a bunch of stuff out recently. It's just stuff that's repetitive that I've already done. So I don't know why this makes it any different than not cut out. Actually, I think there's a certain time of the day we need to be for this to do this. So I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and find out. I think we have to start this at nine o'clock, or is it actually six? Or we can just do it now. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Actually, we should probably... No, let's talk to her first. Why not? What do you want? This is Mamu, Mamamu's Yan Doggy Racetrack, just like the sign says. Do you want to bet, try... Okay, 10 rupees. Okay, so I have plenty of money for this. So first, go and fetch a doggy that you think will run the fastest. Okay, so basically, we're going to use the lens of, tr lens of truth. The mask of truth, dude. So I can actually read the animals. Bro, my four paws feel lighter than usual today. You know what? I'll go with this doggy. This doggy seems like it's gonna win. Oh, I need a dog. I need to carry you and talk to you. Okay, let's try this one out. Okay, I didn't even re- Oh, I need to bet. Hey, let's bet 10 rupees. Alright, let's see who's gonna win. He, his paws feel lighter than normal. Maybe he can run fast. Dude, that's why I picked ya. You're, you're making me money! You will be my money maker, man! You're crazy! Go, go, go! Oh, dude, you're actually doing really good. Go, 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 go! You got this! 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 Go, go, go! Oh, my God. Don't slump behind, you fool! Okay, you're... Wow! Go, go, go! Dude! 
Dude, come on! You got this! Yeah! No! What the hell is this? Did you see that? Dude! Oh, it's like Mario Kart. You know how you like... <laughs> that one little dog. Oh, boy. Okay. Yes, I want to play again. Alright, so the dog that I think is going to go the fastest. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. Aha! Here's a dog that can win. Here's a moneymaker right here. So, let's go ahead and talk to Lady Lady. No! Where'd the dog go, dude? Alright, talk to Lady. Yes! You know, I have confidence in my dog, so... Let's put up 50 rupees! I have confidence in my dog. He's betting for his wife and kids! He can't lose! He can't lose this! He's making me money! Go, go! Ooh, wow. I'm not judging it! It's like Mario Kart, man! You get up ahead, and then you start losing. It happens all the time in Mario Kart. <laughs> it always happens in Mario Kart. This is what this reminds me of Mario Kart, dude. Oh my god! Please don't slump- Oh my god! No, no, no! Oh, please tell me you won at least second place in that. Please? Dude, if I won Come on! How? Ah, you took second, so that's amazing. You went double the amount of your best. 100 rupees. Sure, I'll play again. How much money do I have to bet into this, anyway? Like, do I have to, like, win a certain amount of money back for this? Let's see what this guy says. Yes! He's gonna play for his wife and kids! It's like the TV show, man. <laughs> I'm so stupid, dude. Okay, I have to at least... I don't even know how much rupees I need to freaking win back in profit. But I'm gonna keep trying this until I win, so... And I have plenty of rupees. I am a rich man, so... I could afford to win. Oh my god! What the hell am I looking at? This dog's garbage! Oh my god! Come on! Dude, you costed me rupees! Dude! Oh, what the hell? Looks like... <laughs> you might be betting for your wife and kids, but you're certainly garbage, dude. Good lord. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? What the hell is that? He just he just came back, man. How many what place was he in anyway? Wow, I won. Wait, how much money do I need to win? Do I have to win first place every time? Yeah, you're not gonna win, dude. I, how much money do I have to win from this? Okay, I'll pick the wife and family dog again, but I, I certainly don't know. I should probably bet like a lot of freaking rupees on this one dog. You know, I, I feel like I'm going to. You know what? Oh, I can only bet up to 90. You know what? Let's bet 90 rupees. Good lord, man. I, I don't even know how much rupees I need to bet to, enough to win these things, dude. I don't know. Let's just see what, what plays out. Do I have to win first? Or is it just enough? I don't even know, man. It seems like the dogs that say they'll play for their wife and kids, they usually end up supreme and look, wow, we're actually doing really good. I'm not gonna say anything, wow. I'm not gonna say anything, because I might lose. I most certainly get second place every time. I bet 90 rupees too, so. <laughs> the blue dog, man. The blue dog just sucks, man. Nice going. You won over 150 rupees, so I guess I have to give you a prize. Well, looks like I looks like that was not as hard as I thought it would be. No, I don't want to play again. Well, that wasn't so bad. Come on, I thought I was gonna be a lot worse. Okay, so our, I might just cut some of that out. I mean, like I'll show all the dogs I pick in the race themselves, but the hook shot. <laughs> I need the ocarina, dude. Come on. Okay, what's the, what exactly do I want to do now? Huh, I never really thought about that. Someone mentioned a bunch of stuff. I haven't really thought about what I wanted to do. Someone did say that go ahead and um, beat Udawa, the first boss, and then do the... Um, I don't even know. Someone did mention going to the milk bar. Yeah, you know what? 
I'll meet you back here at 10 o'clock on the night of the first day. Because I want to see what that is. I want to see what the hype about that is. Going to the milk bar and like talking to everybody in there. So I'll see you guys when it's 10 o'clock in the, on the milk bar. Okay, it's finally 10 o'clock. I just decided to slow down time and just, you know. Oh, yeah, remember, please come in. So someone told me to come check out this place at night. And check out everything I can do. This guy's already done. This guy's done. But this guy, however... Um, I guess I'll speak to a shopkeeper. There's a road to the south of the town called Milk Road. Someone must have pulled a prank out there because the road's blocked by a boulder. Can't get any milk from in the ranch. So I'm not sure. Oh, I've already, I've already done that. Shut up. I want to talk. I want to have a drink, dude. Um. The Chateau? Chateau Remind. Drink it to replenish all of your magic power. The drink even improves your stamina. Swirl it around with your tongue to fully draw its flavor. What is that? What does that do? I'm assuming it's like amazing. I don't know. I, I, I might buy another one. You know, who cares? <laughs> I have plenty of freaking rupees to spare, but I guess that's all you told me to do for that part. I suppose. Oh, there's another thing I wanted to check out while we're here. I think it's a West Clock Town. There was a shop. I don't think I've been inside this one building yet, but there's a shop next to the bomb shop that I could go into, but I don't think I've actually explored anything there. So I want to go check it out. If I can do something there. These people are still creeping me out. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. But I'll figure that out later too, I suppose. Like everything else in this game. Okay, this is the place I don't think I've been into yet. The curiosity shop. It only opens at 10, so this must be a creepy place. Sorry, I don't serve my skaters. Okay. Come in! <laughs> Tonight, I've got nothing to sell. I'll kid you not. Can I buy something? What? Wait, what? You can't sell anything to me? Uh, the man from the curiosity shop was that to your notebook. So what about this guy? Oh, only on the final days where I can do something with that guy? Do I dare wait until dawn of the third day or the third day to get do what he wants me to do with him? I don't know. To be honest, I'm not quite sh sure. I, I kind of want to. But there's stuff I gotta do in this cycle, so you know what? There is something I want to do. You know, someone did mention to me in the comments that I can do... Rescue uh, Kutake, fight Udawa, and then go talk to her again after Udawa's been defeated. Because apparently I missed a bunch of stuff after the bosses. So you know what I'm going to do? I will see you guys in a little in a second for you guys, but a long time for me. Because I'm going to go ahead and save Kutake. And I'm going to go ahead and fight the boss. I don't know why I went to the Woodfall. But you know what? I'm going to go do all that nonsense. So you know what? I'll be back in just a moment for that. hell three shots with a spin attack with my new sword kills this guy I have to show that <laughs> I'm sorry I have to show that that was too bull that was too perfect <laughs> okay I'll be back now oh boy that was funny Okay, and so I am here after saving Odawa or beating Odawa. Thanks for being back there. Has special just for you. take the whole for free. But wait, wait, just as I thought. Seems that the poison swap has been cleaned up. So why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom and you try to hit my target. Oh sure, I'll try it. Tee hee, that's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. You're aiming for the target. If you can hit me, I'll never forgive you. Okay, so this is new. Thanks for thanks for telling me this. All right, so let's uh, shoot the target. Okay, this seems fun. Doesn't seem hard at all. Th that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to show that part where I beat Udawa in three hits with a spin attack, man. That literally took like 20, like two seconds. Not even a second. Oh, I hit him. Uh, how many times can I hit this guy before he gets pissed and just stops? Where'd he go? Where the heck did he go? Oh, there he is. 
How many times was I supposed to hit this before he like before I'm done? I have no idea. Probably just hit it until I'm done, probably. This isn't that hard. It's actually relatively easy. So I'm guessing I have to fight the bosses again for some of these things, because I'm sure that I miss a bunch of stuff, because after being the bosses. No, oh, oops. Sorry, dude. And stuff. What? I'm recording. So yeah, we're just gonna shoot this freaking guy like a million times. I don't even know how many times you're supposed to shoot this target, but oh yeah, so I have my brother just kind of walked in while I was doing stuff, so that's why I said that. But okay, D can I shoot the target, please? 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 Oh come on! Thank you. Holy crap. Maybe I won. I kind of hoped I did. Oh, there's more. Oh, no, I'm done. <clears throat> okay, it wasn't too bad. 23, pretty good considering. Well, as I promised, here, take this. Okay, there's another piece of heart, so... That's pretty cool. Wasn't that funny? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. Okay, so... That's done. That's all pretty cool stuff, so... Okay, well... As of right now, I think that's going to be the end of this video, I believe. I mean, we did a bunch of stuff. Well, got in two pieces of heart. That's pretty decent. So, keep the uh, optional stuff coming, guys. Tell, tell me some more stuff, and I will do them. So, next time on Majora's Mask, we will do some more side quests, I suppose. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time.